can come in and you bring your car inside the shop with a lift, tools, and do your own project. Uh, if you don't know how to, we can also show you how to do that as well. Uh, work shoulder to shoulder with you guys. And we also do regular traditional repair as well. Uh, this video though, we're gonna dive into uh, what we do in addition to the DIY. My, my physical car is a Audi A8 D4. It's a 2013 with the 3.0T. I'm at 540 horse. And we're gonna be doing a special build on this car. So this video is really just gonna focus on the individual things that I'm gonna be doing along the way, where I'm at now, and where I'm gonna be going to uh, in the future. I'm gonna be trying to go for the world record. Uh, I believe it's currently at 9.97 uh, for the uh, B8 platform. However, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get to that point. Uh, I'm gonna be racing at ACO uh, Raceway in New Jersey. We are physically located here, uh, five minutes from Philadelphia, but I'm on the New Jersey side in the tri-state area. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into the D4 build and where we're at now and where we're gonna be in the future. All right, guys, this is my 2013 Audi A8 D4. That's the same thing as the B8 and B8 and a half S4s that everybody knows. The C786s, we have the three liter T. Does not stand for turbo, but it's supercharged. This beautiful thing right here. So this is what are gonna be a recap of what the car has currently. I'm 034 stage two plus with the Super Duty, which is the 84 millimeter throttle body. Uh, that puts me with, right at 540 horse. You have a ported supercharger on top of that. Uh, and that stat doesn't also give me what the 84 throttle body, I think it's 10, 15% or, or something like that. But um, so this is what I have on the car currently. So I have that 84 mil, I have the ported supercharger by Shane Horning. I have a C7 heat exchanger 034 that uh, is by for the C7. They don't make them for the A8. Uh, so I have a 207 lower pulley. I'm going with the upper pulley with a grip tack where I can take one off and put another one on. That's gonna be a 60 mil and my pulley ratio is gonna be at a 3.45. So I have the 034 high pressure pump as well. I believe that is it in terms of performance. Um, and the story behind this is I got the stage two TCU tuned by 034 and went to go load it up, went for a drive and incidentally, I either popped a piston or a rod on cylinder three, which I'll be going into. I'll, I'll do another video for Borescope trying to identify what exactly went wrong and uh, give you guys some commentary on that as well. In the interim, I have a engine being built at uh, a machine shop, um, it's, it's sleeved, forged pistons, forged rods. Um, so meant, hence why it's at a machine shop that it's actually a smaller piston than what the stock piston uh, ratio is. So I'm going from 10 and a half to one, which is stock compression to nine and a half to one uh, with an 82.5 millimeter piston face instead of an 84 and a half, which these cars have. I'm also getting the heads ported, standard size valves, intake and exhaust. However, they do make one that's a little bit bigger for both intake and exhaust. Um, titanium uh, retainers, I have keepers, springs, valves, all, all done in the head. So all that's getting done. I will have a video putting this all together shortly. So just wanted to give you guys what, what the before stage is, 540 horse, and where I'm trying to go to 750 horse. Now it's never been done before on this platform, so I'm pretty excited to go through with you guys. All right, so quick overview. I have control arms that I have to continue to finish because I've already done some of them. I haven't done all of them. I have 034 track mounts. Um, I've got a couple of other 034 uh, parts that I'm gonna be doing. Head gaskets, something uh, for a vacuum, and then I have the inserts, which I'm gonna be doing a video on how to install these inserts. In addition to a bunch of miscellaneous parts, everything that I need to build the engine. Uh, again, I am doing pistons and rods. I'm also doing the valve train build as well, so that's gonna be to follow. I don't have a video of that currently or a picture of it because it's at the machine shop. Here's everything else. It's water pump, oil pump, chains, actuators, the whole nine. 
Uh, in addition to supercharger uh, intercoolers, you have two of them inside this supercharger. Uh, now for the good stuff. I'm running a nitrous, a proton kit. It's a wet kit. I'm gonna be doing 150 shots. Once I get to the videos of installing this, I'll show you exactly how I'm gonna be installing it and where I'm gonna be doing it. In terms of the nitrous kit, I'm also running a progressive switch. This really allows me to do it. It creates a impedance or, or a, a voltage uh, to shut the solenoid on and off quickly uh, at the very beginning and then less into this, uh, the nitrous. Really what that allows me to do is improve my 60 foot. So it doesn't give me a full 150 shot right from the gate, but it ramps up to that 150 shot. In addition to running that, I'm gonna be running a WMI system as well, the Snow Stage 3. I'm gonna be running 1,000 cc's at the same time as me running nitrous. A couple of other things that I have that's towards that system are really protection, uh, some fail safes. So I have the innovative gauge, two inputs that protect me, one for tank pressure, uh, there is for the AFR reading. I have that installed in here along with, if you guys have ever used these things before, it really gives me any input that the OBD can read. Not really sure which ones I'm gonna be using exactly, but these are some fail safes as well. I'm gonna be doing a fuel cell. I don't really wanna tap into my fuel system. For you S8s, you guys have a little bit of a low pressure issue. I actually have the S8 fuel pump inside my car, so I don't really have that issue, but I am gonna be running a separate fuel tank for the wet kit itself. We'll get into that on the next video. A little more things to add. I have test pipes. There's one that's already wrapped. I'm going to show you guys how to wrap uh, test pipes for it while it's already out. So I already saved one for you guys, so that way we can demonstrate how to do that. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Last but not least, I have a switch panel. So I could have built my own, but this uh, I have a lot of things to go into. So I'm just going to make this simplistic as possible. Really, this is going to be my fuses, my, my relays to turn on and off with just a press of a button. What that's going to be able to allow me to do is to run the progressive switch or the WMI or the nitrous. So it's all, this is all the plan to get to 750 horsepower. I'm really shooting for a nine, nine and a half is where I'm really trying to be at on the track. So stay tuned. If you guys like what you see or you have any feedback on what you wanna see, please like, subscribe and comment below. Help that algorithm and I appreciate you guys' feedback and support. Thanks.